One of the big differences I'm finding between uh, the United States and China is we have a lot of convenient foods in the States, whereas in China, not a whole lot of. So if you want to not cook, you either go to McDonald's or you kind of have to find something off the beaten track. So I'm going to try to find some places that are not uh, McDonald's, some places that are a little different, um, some local restaurants. So. I'm gonna see what I can find and when I get to Hong Kong. So I've heard about this noodle restaurant called uh, Lum Sum Ki. It's supposed to be these uh, bamboo press noodles. Really good. Unfortunately, like uh, so many places, this place is a hole in the wall. It's really difficult to find. So I'm gonna ask a few folks around here and see if I can uh, track this place down for some uh, really good noodles. So, see what we can find. Not entirely sure if I had two English hunting dogs and a wishbone that this place would be any easier to find. the perfect noodles continues but on the way I did find kind of a cool thing uh, there's a more of a flea market here in Sham Shui Po so they have just a little bit of everything let's uh, see what we can find on the way eh? this is the part-time pedestrian area so if you're a full-time pedestrian you are not allowed to walk here well here's a monk and he's asking for money so, that means he's not a real monk. Huh? Oh, no, no. No. Huh? Oh, no, no, no. You guys may remember in one of my other videos I was talking about monks. Uh, just because someone is dressed like a monk doesn't mean they are necessarily a monk. Henceforth, if some guy comes up to you dressed like a monk and asks you for money, it's not a monk. Give him nothing. Use shoes, to keyboards, and well, virtually everything else in between. Um, could be a good deal, but then again, you just never know. Um, and the stuff changes uh, daily here, so you just kind of come by and see what you can find. Maybe you can score a good deal, and uh, maybe you get. Uh, taken for a ride. Okay, so we're waiting in line in a place called Lao Sum Ki. So it's really good uh, bamboo pressed and handmade noodles. Uh, it says it's supposed to be one of the uh, better noodle joints in Hong Kong. So uh, we're going to check it out and see what we think. Is it good? Is it good? What do you recommend? They're famous for bamboo press noodles. Sounds good. No. And wonton. And wonton. And Chinese dumplings. And Chinese dumplings. Okay. Quite a number of good food here. No. All in all, this is actually a pretty good experience. The noodles were great, the uh, service is good, and uh, I would definitely come back here again. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, quest for the perfect noodle. Uh, we'll see you next time. Stay frosty. I'm not sure if I had uh, two English hunting dogs and a wishbone. <coughs> Hello. Chicken head. Chicken head.